Running is a very dynamic and physical sport, and there are probably few things that you should try to avoid just before going out for a run. Yeah, and I'm joined by Jordanian triathlete and Olympic Games competitor Lawrence Fanous, and we've trained quite a lot together over the years, and we've tried quite a few of these. You could call it trial and error, well, mostly error. So here's our list of things not to do before you run. All right, mate, you ready to go running? Ah, uh, what are you doing? I'm a bit hungry, to be honest. I'm um, just fueling up before we go. Ooh, are you sure about that? Right, you've just got in from work. You're starving. You probably just want to tuck into dinner. Yeah, or you've just woken up and you're starving and you just want to get breakfast in. Yeah, and it probably seems obvious, but the worst thing you can do is stuff your face full with heavy food just before you head out for a run. Yeah, and actually, like being a little bit hungry on a run can actually end up in a really good run. Yeah, I've had some great runs whilst I've still been hungry. Me too. But in an ideal situation, you want to leave it 60 minutes to 90 minutes between eating and heading out for a run. But should you have to eat within that window, you want to opt for something that's not quite so heavy on the stomach. So go for something lighter like a cereal bar or an energy bar that's going to have a nice fast release of energy. But eating too close to a run can really be uncomfortable once you're out there. And the last thing you want is to be stuck in the middle of town with public everywhere and nowhere to go for relief. Even though there are a lot of fizzy energy drinks out there, it doesn't mean it's the best thing to take just before a run. No, and as we found out earlier, fizzy drinks didn't go down particularly well with you, Lawrence. No, it didn't. Uh, and the problem there was that it was really uncomfortable in my stomach. Uh, and I think everyone knows that already, but what the fizzy drink also actually does is stop you from ingesting the liquid that you've actually taken. And that in turn stops you from being hydrated as effectively. Yeah, it just like sloshes around inside your stomach. And on top of that, the fizzy drinks also prevent the absorption of some really important nutrients from the food that's already in your stomach. Yeah, so make sure you drink something still and make sure you do it at least 10 to 15 minutes before the run. So, caffeine, it's really good for our sports performance and especially endurance sport, as we all know. But it's the, crucially the timing of that consumption which is going to help us avoid those embarrassing situations. Ooh. Now, I know it might sound a bit crude, but you should genuinely think about this before heading out for runs. Because if you have had a quick perk you up caffeinated delight, then you should give it at least half an hour or one toilet run before you do head out. Yeah, definitely. Uh, we're purely talking about coffee here, but obviously other caffeinated drinks can have the same effect. Coming. Are you all right, mate? Yeah, good to go. Uh, yeah, uh, yeah, I'll just get my shoes and I'll be out in a minute, okay. all right? you doing? Sorry mate, I've got some really important emails. Sorry, I'm, I'm on my way. Look, let's well, go now. We were going 20 minutes ago. Let's go, let's go. All right, I'm ready. Oh I'm ready. God. Oh God. Technology, eh? It's really easy these days to be distracted by an incoming text or email just before you're going out for a run. So avoid the temptation of replying. Otherwise, as we've just shown, you could waste 20 minutes before you actually do your run. Yeah, basically just get out there. Uh, the last thing you want to be doing is rushing the run or worse, cutting it down just because you're trying to cram it in. Yeah, we actually often look to technology as a distraction when we're feeling demotivated. But honestly, it feels so much better once you've completed that run. One well, might seem obvious, but we would never suggest drinking alcohol before you go for a run, especially given the professionals that we are. Yeah, exactly, Mark. And it can make, really make your run feel awful if you decide to have a few drinks in the day and then go out for a run. So I've done this a couple of times. I've and just told uh, them that we don't. Yeah, I know, but it's nice to let your hair down, obviously, often, isn't it? Yeah, I guess so. And I do actually remember going for a wine tasting experience and uh, then trying to head out for a run. And let's just put it this way, the run experience was 
less pleasurable than the wine tasting experience. You just get that really heavy legged feeling and it's been scientifically proven that you decrease the training effect. Yeah, it seems like we're both guilty here, doesn't it? Mm. So yeah, it seems like if you're going to have a few drinks, make sure you get your run done before you go out, if you should really be drinking at all. Exactly. Then, Is that cut? We done? Is that done? Cool. cool. Nice one, mate. Cheers, mate. Cheers. Yeah. Good day, that was. Yeah, it was great. And last but not least, do not even consider going out for a bike ride just before going for a run. Uh, Lawrence, that's what, what we do. We do triathlon. Oh, yeah, I suppose. But it does make your legs hurt, though, doesn't it? Yeah, but I guess that's what we love about the sport, though, yeah, it right? Is, yeah. <laughs> well, that's some of our tips of what not to do before you head out for a run. But we'd love to hear some of your stories and tips. So please drop them in the comments section below. And to make sure that you never miss another video from GTN, you can click on the globe and subscribe. Yeah, and if you're interested in running and how to do a long run, then Mark Buckingham did a video out in Lanzarote, and that is down here. If you'd like to see some of the hacks that the pros do, and lucky me, I got to try them out, you can see that by clicking down here. <laughs>